right, for starters, you're going to need to get suction cups, okay? These are the best ones. Get the ones that have a um, an inner and an outer loop in there like that. They make other ones that are for, like, bathrooms and stuff like that, but they're not nearly as good. Get something like that. Take a good look at that, guys. This is going to be our main vine system, these bio vines, okay? And this is just a regular medium bio vine, all right? And then if you want, you might want to pick up a small one. This is not going to be used for the main support system. This is just going to be used to maybe put some weaving in and out and create some baskets and things like that. So now you are also going to need a pair of pliers so that we can use them to clip these metal pieces. These metal pieces on these suction cups are very, very important. All right. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. vines here as you guys see and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we go ahead and, and attach the suction cups. We take this suction cup here it's got a metal end on it and we're just going to take it we're going to put it right through the end there and then we're going to take a pair of pliers and just squeeze it tight and that's it and that's how you hook the suction cups to these. Now what we're going to do is we're going to show you how we go ahead and we set them up inside. We're going to take the lines and get these two guys back here first, like that. Another one there, there. This one's gonna reach all the way across over to there. And get this one in over here, and I'm pulling it. What I'm doing is I'm gonna be pulling it tight to get it all into place. Trying, I know it might be in the waist a little bit. Make sure the glass is clean, and then you can just go ahead and put them on there. As you can see, very, very strong, guys. Very strong, very sturdy. You can go ahead and spread these out. The reason why we want to put this in here first is because you want to make sure that you can get enough weight distribution, get enough suction cups in there that's going to hold the weight of the snake. We're going to use one of these small bio vines right here. Um, this is the thin one, and um, pretty cheap, actually. It's uh, six foot. It's only about, uh, I don't know, maybe six or eight dollars uh i'm gonna try and do something at the end of this which is gonna go over all the pricing and everything for you guys the best that i can all right so at any rate what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually use this thin one the skinny one to hold up this we obviously know is gonna fall already we're gonna take our little prop character out of there for now and basically what we're looking to do guys is just get some support on it so Let's zoom in, and let's show you how we're going to do this, okay? We're going to take one piece, and we're going to basically just tie it, just like this. Do one, like, kind of little wrap. With plenty of tension, we're going to just take it and we're going to wrap it right around the other one. Okay, we're going to get the other camera. camera here, which you guys should be able to see that really good. We'll just wrap it right around the other one. And that's going to keep that from going down that way. Okay? And then what we could do is we're going to add even more support to it by looping it through this middle piece again. Put it up into here like this. This way. Just like that. And that should kind of keep it from sliding back and forth. It's gonna give it good good balance. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna kind of pull it this way as well. Okay guys, great. Now that that's set, let's take a quick look and how we how we got it hooked up here. Um, if we look over top, you can see we just woven it into the uh, into the uh, climbing uh, promotion. 
on the bottom. I don't even know what it's called. I'm sorry, guys. But And that's how we're going to keep it from falling over, basically. And then once we get the extension going across the other side, it's really going to tighten it up nice. But you want a little wiggle room on everything, guys. This will give the, the snakes a real feeling of climbing around in a real jungle. As long as everything's bouncing and wiggling a little bit, they're going to feel like they're right at home. All right, let's get this set back right up on the tripod. I'm going to show you how to extend this shelf all the way across to the other side of the pack. What you want to do, guys, you always want to start with it cut in the middle, this way. We don't want to start with this end. We're going to slip it through here. Just like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to just give it a couple of couple of twists. Like that. And the reason we're doubling it up is to make sure that it's nice and strong. And then we're going to branch one off each. And we'll go just one more further. Okay, so we branch this off here. Like this. And what we want to do is from the center, make sure that we have this length correct like that. That looks pretty good. And we're going to take it and just kind of squeeze it a little bit. Like that. And then we're going to overlap with it and come back the other way. twist take the suction cup just open the suction cup just a little bit loop it in there like that And just squeeze it closed. And then we take that one and put that there. Another one. There we go. Excellent. This is going to work out pretty good right here because we're going to be able to net these across like that. Just kind of throw that together any kind of way that you want, really. So that actually worked out really nice. These brand new vines are a pain in the butt. This is the first new one I'm putting in. I think what we're going to do is just put these two right to the end. Like this. That was happening. Knocked over the camera. 
Okay, what we're gonna do with these last two pieces here is just take them and attach them over this side. Just like that. What's going what we're looking for here is kind of like a a decline because up above here is where the heat lamp is gonna go and we don't want the snakes up so high to it so that they don't get burned. So we're gonna want them lower than the other side. We'll just lower this a little bit and then we'll finish out a little basket area over in this area for them. Maybe do one straight across this way and a couple of fill-ins. But I actually kind of like that the way that is. It'll kind of keep them more or less from staying there you know too long under the under the where the uh, heat lamp is the ceramic heat lamp so we'll just leave it like that for now